Welcome, I'm Knut, and today we'll be talking about storage media or playback mediums. Uh, we're gonna go right into it. One of my favorites, it's vinyl. If you've never seen one, this is what it looks like. This is one of my favorite albums by Black Keys. This album is called Brothers. Uh, Patrick and Dan did an awesome job. Everybody, Chad Blake, everybody on the team. And uh, this is what a vinyl looks like. It was created uh, eons ago, decades ago, and um, it's still revered as one of the uh, most accepted and sacred formats. And this is what a vinyl looks like, right? It's a disc, and this particular one has four songs on side A and another four songs on side B, right? And so you put this on a player, and the stylus goes, and it reads the groove, and it plays your song. Uh, there was uh, several limitations when they invented this, and um, one of which is you couldn't have it as loud as what music is today in 2019. And um, you had to be um, good at the craft. You had to balance your highs and your lows so that it would fit so the, sty so the stylus wouldn't skip, right? And this particular uh, album has two discs. So in it, you would you know have two, two LPs and this particular one has four songs on side C and four, uh, three songs on side um, D. Then came along, well, there's a couple of them that came but didn't stick. Uh, then came along the cassette. And uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, this particular brand has 90 minutes of playing time. And how it plays, you put this in a player. So on here, you have the playhead. And this would give you side A and side B, right? And within this portion, it's uh, left and right on side A, left and right on side B. This is 90 minutes in length. And you put this in the, the player, and you would um, be able to play. Some players would auto-rotate, so it would play side A and then flip it. Or you'd have to stop it, eject it. It would have like a little casing like this and you would have to turn it around, right? This is another kind of a cassette, which is a uh, high bias, which what you'd call the high def of its time. Uh, when they created the cassette, it was horrible. It didn't sound good, guys, until um, AC Bias stumbled across how they could get away with or get around getting the floor noise down. It was just a lot of hiss, and so you have um, metal tapes, you have chrome tapes, um, and different types, and it will keep it um, keep your information um, high definition at the time. This particular one is 60 minutes, right? Then came along the CD. Voila! Uh, this now turned things around. This was the digital age, and Philips did a great job. Sony followed right after, and this was where they put the information. On the disc, it was printed on there, and it was read by a laser. And you know, you could touch it, or you know, you could shake it around, and it wouldn't. Some players wouldn't skip. And this was able to hold 80 minutes. Well, it didn't start it out at that, but now it it can hold 80 minutes um, of information on there. And they had a smaller one, like um, a smaller disc, mini disc, they call it. And now. This is where we are. Uh, USB stick, uh, people travel around with this, uh, put it into whatever device, and that's how they play music. Or some people stream uh, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube. Um, and so that's where we are. And um, who knows where we're going next? So that's all the time we have for you today. Uh, thank you so much for joining. My name is Knut, and I'll see you next time.